Hello. How is everybody? I'm back. Yes, I'm back. Run scared now. Anyway, I figured, figured that what I would do is I've been kind of doing at least one something with any palettes that I have recently acquired. I mean, I got the C color palettes, the glamour C color palette that I picked up, I did just as an Instagram piece. It was just the picture. Anyway, I'm through with the Instagram, with the Instagram, with the um, C colors that I picked up recently. I'm going to do one with an AOA I picked up recently. This is probably the most expensive eyeshadow stuff on their site. Um, I think some of their rolled brush sets are a little more expensive, but that's okay. This is 10 bucks. It's called self-made. No, this is not one that you get to pick and pluck. They have several palettes. Some of them are nine pans. Some of them are these huge workers. These huge workers run between 10 and 12. A lot of times they're shown as 12 with mark through with 10 after it. The nine pans run between five and seven. And do kind of the same thing a lot but I've been staring at this one for a while and at 10 bucks I didn't argue too much now one of the other things that came in that order is I ordered some of their little sponges dollar a sponge this is a dry one this is a damp one I love the way they feel. I love the way they work. Yes, I'm being nattery today. Whoa, I'm gonna scare everybody. Yes, I didn't start off in black and white. I'm gonna scare everybody. I figured, yeah, let's do something different today anyway. And no matter what I'm putting on my face, lately for moisturizer because it's starting to get hot here and our average humidity is 30 to less that's what you get for living in the desert or at least on the edges of it makes it much easier for me personally to breathe I do better in low humidity for breathing apparently however my skin hates it. Anyway, like usual, I'm going to start off with my eyes. I'll probably go away for a few minutes while I put the foundation stuff on, which is going to be a BB cream and a little bit of concealer for this crap. But that's what I'm working with today. And yes, I shaved the head down. Well, mostly. I've still got that little fuzz bit going on. But that's okay. I was looking at the roots on the hawk strip and looking at the ends of the hair in the hawk strip. Not the one. These ends are not going to stand up to another round of bleach. And I didn't want to have this funky little tiny strip with probably still some green spots in it just sitting on top of my head all by itself. So I did what I rel relatively regularly do when I get to the, the ends are ratty. I need to re-bleach it and just mow it down and let it grow back out and once it gets long enough to start doing the bleaching color again 
I may not actually bleach it this time. I mean, it's just some green color that you smoosh in and wait. I don't know, maybe if I don't bleach it this time, it'll actually look green instead of blue. We'll see. We will see when the time gets here. i got a little time to work with. Yeah, my mouth is even flaky. And yes, I've done the scrubs. I've done the conditioner. Da -da 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 -da. Not my first rodeo. <laughs> I've got a couple of different flavors of the e.l.f. lip scrub, and I'm using that, and then I've got several different flavors of lip oils and lip conditioners, and I'm using that, and it just, and it's the e.l.f. putty again. I just... It's not fun. I don't like when we go from the... Usually I have go through this every time we do a big shift. Once we get out of winter and most of the way through spring, it starts getting really warm around here. And things like our rhubarb plants are already up to my hip. My son is yelling at his puppy. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it or not. My son is yelling at his puppy because he's getting into stuff he's not supposed to get into. The hubs has been out planting our vegetable garden and got the tomato sets in. We've got three different types of tomatoes out there. We've got early girl and we've got sweet 100. Those are cherry tomatoes. And then we've got Roma tomatoes for doing sauces and stuff. And we've got pole beans and we've got cucumbers and a little bit of eggplant and we've got some lettuces and some wildflowers in front and some marigolds around some of the other plants. We've got parsnips and, 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 and stuff. <laughs> I've lost track of how much stuff some of the stuff is. Okay. Oh, plus our little town, despite the best advice of some brainy people, decided to reopen a few things. Some of the small retailers are being allowed to open, including the thrift store. Now the thrift store has set up some really impressive safeguards for our current situation. There's only so many people allowed in at a time. All of the clerks are wearing masks and gloves. They took everything out of the store, completely sanitized it, sanitized all the merchandise that was in it. Put that back, and if you're donating, you have to donate to a specific area outdoors, have it all bagged and boxed, and then they will take the boxes away 
to another location and everything, have everything cleaned and sanitized so that we're avoiding as much as possible doing any transfer stuff. And I'm like, okay, so I went. And there was three employees and maybe four other customers in the store. And we all minded our manners and kept our distance. And I got some really cute tops. This is one of them. Ha, 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 ha. So, let's see what I'm going to start with here. I think I'm going to start down here. I'm wearing a pink shirt. I'm going to put some pink eyes on. We'll see how that works. Now, don't ask me for color names. AOA, don't put them on these. However, this is their, with this, this is the AOA studio, which means this is their own formula. This isn't something that they've you know, bought from like Clean Color or Santee or whatever. They have their own formulas. The only thing I don't like about the AOA formula is that if you get the singles, some of the singles come set up for you to pop out and put into one of the magnetic boxes, which they sell lots of in really pretty colors. Um, nine cans, you can get anywhere from four bucks to six bucks. The um, larger one that I think, I'm not sure how many it takes. It kind of depends on the size of the pan you're grabbing. But the larger ones run somewhere around seven, usually. And they're really nice. Okay. Now let's put something, a little something, something. Go a little bit darker. Now I've got hooded eyes. If you want an excellent explanation of the difference between hooded eyes and deep set eyes, you need to go see Miss Angie on 4F Beauty. She has an excellent tutorial on how to tell the difference. The main thing is deep set eyes and hooded eyes have one thing in common. Because of the way the skin folds, it rubs together and you get bald patches in here. It's not fun. It doesn't matter if you're using glitter glue or anything else. You are going to get bald patches where the skin rubs together. Which is truly annoying, but hey, it is what it is. The main thing with hooded eyes is you have to put your colors high enough that when you open your eyes, people are able to see some of the colors you have bothered with, which is why I'm taking them pretty high. 
because you see when I open my eyes I pretty much lose the mobile lid it just rolls right on under because that top lid is so loose it just kind of folds down over it <laughs> Let's see. What am I do next? Hold on. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. That was one of those little, little, oh my God, what did the grandchild do? All right, here's the ALO. Tell him not to lean on the stove and tell her daddy to keep a better eye. I know, I know. But you turn around for two seconds to wash off a bowl or something so you can reuse it. And the next thing you hear is, ah! <clears throat> anyway. Do, 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 do. I think I'm going to grab some shimmer here. And I'm going to get a pale shimmer just because I feel like it. And I'm going to see how well this works with a brush. And I'll probably spritz it. You know, spritz the brush. Do not spritz the color. Do not put a wet brush into a pressed eyeshadow pan. Just don't. Listen to me. Just don't. If you do, you're going to create a problem called hard pan. And then I'll have to send you over to Angie's channel for the how to fix hard pan not that this is necessarily a bad thing or that I'm too lazy to do one myself why should I do one another one when she's done a perfectly good one that's actually very easy to follow very easy to understand and it's done you are allowed to Spritz the color on the brush once the brush is away from the pan. And then you do this. Crook the finger around the brush. Clean the ferrule. Because there's usually some wet left on the brush. from the spritz and I don't care what you spritz it with it can be setting spray it can be water it can be whatever you feel like but if you leave fluids on the ferrule it's very possible that the ferrule could have the fluid leak up under it which then disturbs the glue that holds your beautiful little brush together and then you don't have a brush you have a, you have a twig and you can give it to your kids to play with to build stuff you can know, give it to them and they can have a little flag for their fort or put a huge radio antenna on top of their skyscraper or any of that but it ain't gonna be a brush no more
because all of your pretty bristles will be sitting in the ferrule on the floor or they will fall out of the ferrule if it gets down to the glue at the base of the bristles. So you've got two places to worry about. You've got the this place here, yeah, it's crimped a little, but that's to help keep the shape, not to keep the bristles in. And then you've got this space down here. You get fluid up inside either one. You're going to lose glue, you're going to lose adhesion, and you're going to lose your brush. And that just is not a pretty thought. I think I like that. I think I like this stuff. This is a good palette. Good palette. Pat it on its little head. Now, since it is, God help me, pollen season around here, I am probably not going to do much of anything to the lower water line. All I need is one speck of pollen and we will be done. <laughs> I will, however, pick up some color of some form. Which one am I going to do? I'm going to do something different. I'm going to put a different color completely on the lower lashes. Or at least under them. And no, I'm not going all the way up in the corner either because at this point, if I do that, again, and if I sneeze or I cough, oh, God help me, all I have to do is eat something and my eyes start watering and my nose starts running. And I'm going, dude, you're not the pollen. <laughs> and it's going, I don't care. And away we go with all of the tears and the you know what from the schnut and all of that, which is just flipping annoying. I'm still trying to figure out if I want to do a regular eyeliner or if I want to do this for the eyeliner this time. I may even use this color just because. Now I've got Let's see, there's that one from AOA, and then I've got some AOA stuff that I depotted and have stuck into magnetics. They were all singles, but I've used them so they don't really count as untouched. I've got, no, I can't see whether or not I'm touching that eye yet. I have to wait till I feel it. Um, I've got another palette coming, which is gonna be the last one for a long time. 
And the most expensive palette I've picked up in a while, too. As a single palette. The J. Kissa and Elf second round collaboration is coming in. It's on the way. On the way. And yes, at some point I will go back and do an actual vid with the glamour from C Color. But not right now. I promised myself, I said self, I want us to use all these nifty palettes we picked up, I say it like it was a ton. For some of you, it's a spit in the bucket. No, I am not trying to compete with people who have real money. I took advantage of some sales on some pallets with really tiny prices like the profusion eight pans that I picked up that I just finished up doing I love those palettes but they were five bucks a piece that's it I paid as much for the J. Kissa palette from ELF as I did for all four of the Profusion 5 Buck palettes. Yes, the J. Kissa palette is, is 20 bucks. And it's really pretty. And 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 it the some of the money goes to some of the animal rescues. And if you take pictures of you and your pet and there's a hashtag and all that stuff, they will send more money to Animal Rescue and there you go. And such. And no, I am not sponsored by anyone, dang it. Not C Color, not Profusion, not Elf, not nobody. All of this is on my own dime, which is why I so rarely have anything new on my own dime. Currently, the dime went a little further. I got some unexpected that was not part of this silly check that they sent for the reconstruction of things. That went to bills and food. It went where it was supposed to. Most of what I spend doing stuff like this is I occasionally write and get some money for it. I occasionally, you know, it's like blog content for companies of or people who think they can't write or just don't want to. And 
I get, you know, that, that, uh, rack to can thing where you get money back. Even if you're using AliExpress to pick up your stuff, you get money back on the rack to can and on that one on AliExpress, it's like 2.5% of your purchase. That's not a lot, okay? But if you don't mess with it, it builds up. And I use that to buy stuff. Okay, I'm going to give the eyes a quick spritz. I'm not going all over. And I'm going to sit here and let them dry a little bit. I'm going to go put the base face on, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've got a little bit of e.l.f camo concealer on some of my splooges and yeah my face breaks out like crazy every so often some of it has to do with my autoimmune issues some of it has to do with allergies <laughs> anyway I followed that up with the AOA studio BB cream just kind of patted both of them out with a sponge and then I went to work with some of the other stuff that I've got I've got um, this one which is LA colors and it's called bronzer so you know around the sides kind of thing and then I got the LA colors that just says flippin' highlighter so you know you, you can see a little shine when I turn the face that's plenty besides I'm gonna start sweating if I go outside which means yeah okay and then I've got this elf palette that is all cream blushes let's see I used this one this time. It's kind of a peachy, but it's it's a delicate kind of a color with some beige in the background. So yeah, that's all up through here. And then I took my e.l.f. sheer blotting powder. which looks like that and took a little brush well a little for a powder brush and dotted it around here and there and all that and then I took my big powder brush and kind of swirled it and dusted off any excess Eyebrows is the AOA Studio Sculpting Brow Pencil, and this one is in, I believe this one's in taupe, I think. Let me see, any spots here? Yes, taupe. There's one of the triangle ones, one of the triangle ones. I'm doing it again. I'm not paying attention and I'm showing it to the mirror instead of the camera. I just can't be trusted today. Anyway, I'm going to finish off with this lippy. It's a Seraphine Botanicals Berry and Juice 100% Vegan Lip Gel. And this one is in the color rose current now I love this stuff it feels wonderful it smells good and it's one of those just enoughs
puts a little shine on your mouth. Oh, it feels so good. It really does. It's smooth. It's creamy. It's not sticky. And it looks good. Anyway, here's the look. I gotta tell you, all, all I'm gonna be doing the rest of the day is sitting here on my computer. Probably playing World of Warcraft for a while. Gotta get things caught up before the new expansion. Yes, one of the reasons I spend so little on makeup is because I like my World of Warcraft. I'd rather spend the money on that. Keeps me out of trouble and off the streets. If I get angry enough to want to quote-unquote maim things, I can do it with pixels. There you go. Now, at this point, unless I'm doing one of my things, you can mostly see most of the colors on my eyes. Whatever doesn't show up, yeah, it's the hazards. Anyway, I love AOA Studios. Their stuff has the pigment. It brings the game. I love their BB cream. Yes, it's a tiny little tube. Okay? It's a tiny, tiny little tube. But it's still 30 mil and it's a dollar. And it works. No, I'm still not sponsored. So there. Nanny. Dry, wet. Squish, 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 squish. Squish, 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 squish. Anyway. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. If you feel the urge, need, and or want to go walk with the protesters, remember, peaceful, walk with the protesters. Somebody starts acting up and trying to bring the violence, film them, report them. And that includes cops that are out of line. Stay out of trouble. It's like, look, guys, I don't have bail money. I'm sorry. So try your best to stay out of trouble. Wear your mask if you go out there. Mask and gloves. Take water. Plenty of water. Take snacks. You cannot guarantee that anybody else is going to be sharing. And you cannot guarantee that anybody else who is insistent about sharing has not altered the contents. We've been hearing that on some of the news reports too. <clears throat> if you don't know who's offering it to you, if they're acting sketchy, don't take it. <sighs> Stay safe. <laughs>